here's a little bit of an intro, a little bit of a backstory. For the month of December, I'm going to be answering your questions in about the time it takes me to drink a beer. So feel free to join along. Ask me a question down below in the comments. I'll drink a beer. I'll answer your questions. Get ready. So, I have a beer, and I have some questions. <laughs> Cheers. So I can't thank you guys enough for asking your questions. You guys have always supported me when I do this, and I know, I know, this is not everybody's cup of tea. Trust me, I'm aware. Some of you guys only want to see me cook. But then there are other folks who do actually enjoy having a conversation with me. And I really do appreciate that. So I'm going to answer a couple rapid fire questions. Hopefully this will help. And again, these are some questions that don't necessarily take 10 minutes to answer or to respond to. So Kirk says, my man Kirk from the Eastern Shore, this, this is Kirk. This is Kirk from the Eastern Shore. Shore Barely Barbecue. <laughs> Hi. <Hey -o. laughs> Kirk says, so this year seems like the perfect year for that lamb rub. Speaking of rubs, I have something in my eye and I'm going to need you to read between these lines, Kirk. All right. <clears throat> There's... Perfect answer. I, Kirk, I can't, I can't tell you that, man. All right, so here's another question from Beck, from Beck's Barbecue. Beck says, hey Dash, was curious, whatever happened to getting a food truck? All right, so when I looked at that truck, I specifically stated in that video that I was only looking at the truck for informational gathering purposes only. The problem is, some people skipped around. Maybe they didn't see that part of the video. But the whole thing was, I knew that I was not ready for a food truck. And I didn't know if I was going in the direction of a truck or a trailer. At this point, I think I would much rather go into the direction of a trailer. But I still am not ready yet. Here's one thing that a lot of people don't talk about when they talk about running a barbecue business in a trailer. There's no time for anything else. Uh, in case you guys haven't seen or noticed, I have three young-ish kids. With that being said, I like being around my house to do things with my kids. If I were to do barbecue full-ish time, like on the weekends, the weekends are when they have their sports. The weekends are when they go away for, with friends. The weekends are when they do different things. And the worst thing I can do is be selfish and get a food truck or a trailer and ask them to cancel the things that they're doing so they can help me. Or ask my wife to come and help me on the trailer so that I don't have to pay someone else. And then that means she can't help them do the things that they want to do on the weekends. So it's not a instance of me not wanting to. It's just not the right time. Now, is that a little bit of a cop out? Yes, but at the same time, I really do want to enjoy and spend time with my kids until they get a little bit older. And then once they get a little older, one, they can help me and volunteer to help me on the truck or trailer. And or two, I'll be in a better position, I won't say financially, but I'll be in a better position to run a truck or a trailer if I so choose. It's still a pipe dream at this point. I I know that I can do it. It's just a matter of getting it done. And again, I really, really, really do like being around for my family. All right, the next quick question comes from the Blue Collar Millennial. He says, what got you into barbecue and cooking in general? 
So I talked about this, I feel like sometimes ad nauseum, but some of you guys have not been around the, my channel for long enough to know I always talk about or I joke about the fact that I am an arsonist who cooks. Really, I, I like playing with fire. <laughs> fire, 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 fire. <laughs> and as growing up, I, we, had a, we had a little rectangular, excuse me, actually it was a square grill at home. And in order for me to play with fire, I had to cook on it. The, the cooking was a byproduct of playing with fire. And that was pretty much what got me into cooking on the grill. And what got me into barbecue was a trip to Austin. I tasted some brisket. I couldn't get that brisket in Baltimore. So I figured out how to do it myself. It took me quite a while to figure that part out. But, but I did. And eventually, eventually, it, or, it organically grew into a business. It was not ever meant to become or be a business. It just, it just so happened that way. Thank you guys so very much for asking your questions. Feel free to ask your question down below. Hopefully, I can answer, get to, and answer your question before the month is out. Don't be bashful. Ask your question down below. Thank you guys so very much, as always, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting that like button. Thank you for referring a friend. Share this video if you, not if, share this video, please, and thank you. All right, so thank you guys as always. Oh, I got like half a beer. Okay, you know what I need someone to do? Remind me below to take a moment and a breath and to drink a little bit of the beer so I'm not shotgunning the beer at the end of the video. Thanks. I'll see you guys next time. More butter, baby. <laughs>